Hi, this is David Ramvet again. I've been reading a poem or playing a song each day for several days during the time of the coronavirus. The first one I read was a poem I wrote that day, responding to a challenge a poet friend, Sharon Dubiago, gave to a number of us who were younger poets back then, uh, to be a little more spontaneous, to try to respond more immediately to our feelings and to our surroundings. So I'm going to do that again today. I wrote one that's called, here it is, Things to do in Buffalo, Wyoming, while waiting out the coronavirus. And I typed it today. It's a much bigger deal. Uh, it's still on the back of a piece of paper, though, that's got music that I may also use for this. Here's the poem. Things to do in Buffalo, Wyoming, while waiting out the coronavirus. Chop wood, shovel snow, bake bread. Make dinner and after take the compost to the bin. Nearly full, though only half decomposed. Citrus is the worst. The rinds of orange, lemon, grapefruit, and lime. Or maybe avocado. The skins and pits. Last November, so long ago now, I was in the garden, scraping the snow off the earth, digging the compost in before the ground froze. There, amid the remains of summer's mint and parsley, potatoes and peas, a six-inch stalk, a plant I didn't know. I lifted it from the cold earth, brushed the snow away, and saw it was avocado. Yes, avocado, sprouted from an afternoon of guacamole and gin and tonic. I dug up a little more of the cold soil, put that and the unlikely plant into a clay pot, and took it into the warm house, the wood I chopped burning in the stove. I meant this poem to be about the things we can do trapped now in ourselves, wrapped up against a virus, writing letters and reading novels, inventing dinners from frozen foods and legumes soaked overnight, bundling up in layers to lie on the cold earth at night watching the stars, things like that. But it turns out this poem's about compost, that is to say, transformation, how we change moving through the days, and the days, how they change moving through us. That's today's poem. Thanks all. Bye.